Okay, what you're seeing right here is we're gonna go over these ingredients. I got the apples right there, of course. Obviously, I'm using green. I like the green apples and I had onions. That's unsalted butter. And then as you guys can see, as the ingredients, you know, as I show them, the name comes up and the quantities, you know, so it makes it kind of like, you know, easy to follow. So if you're writing this down, that'll help. And also for the full recipe, it will be linked in the description box below. All right, so there you go. You see chicken broth. Uh, what else we got? We got thyme, rosemary. Again, you can see the uh, the amounts right there on the screen. And that right there is what we're going to season this uh, these pork chops with. That's that beef and pork rub by Sweet Smoky Joe's. If you guys are interested in getting that, go check him out. It's SweetSmokyJoe's.com. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, I'm running through all of his uh, his seasonings, and they they awesome. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to heat up your uh, skillet. Obviously, I'm using a cast iron skillet, so go ahead and add about two tablespoons of your olive oil. And, you know, you want to bring that up to uh, temperature. As that's coming up to temperature, I'm using that Sweet Smoky uh, Joe's. You know, that's that beef and pork rub. I'm going ahead and seasoning the, uh, the pork chops, and then I'm going to add a little black pepper. Look, I put the black pepper on there more so for I like to wear it browns. You know, it gives it some nice color once you put it on that heat. Something about that cast iron and black, uh, black pepper, that does it. So then, once everything is up, you want to go ahead and put them in there. You want to put it season side down and then you want to repeat, meaning you want to put all your seasonings and everything on top. Then you want to go ahead and cook them for about three to four minutes on each side. Now, remember, you just want to brown them. And again, about three to four minutes until you reach that desired color that you like. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and just flip them again. You know, make sure you got them. You don't want to cook them all the way because we're going to bring them back. Once you uh, achieve the color that you're looking for, go ahead and just put them on a the plate and we're gonna set those aside. Now, as you can see, those right there were browned perfectly. And you can see they're starting to release some of the juices inside just from that little bit of resting. So now, go ahead and add your tablespoon of uh, unsalted butter to your, uh, to your cast iron skillet or whatever type of pan you're using. Go ahead, after that melts, then go ahead and insert your, go ahead and add to it your onions and your apples. And then you know what, sprinkle a little bit of that thyme and that rosemary on there. And that right there, listen, what we want to do is we want to keep working it back and forth, keep it moving. Now it's up to you. If you want to add another tablespoon of butter, you can. I did, you just don't see, you know me, when I done it. But one tablespoon is good. I just like that, that buttery taste with it also. And then right now, after that, once you get everything moved around, go ahead and add your chicken broth. And then just go ahead. Once you get it back to a simmer, that's like a, in between a simmer and a boil right there. Go ahead and reinsert your pork chops. Now, if you're doing four pork chops along with your uh, apples and onions, you're not going to be able to probably find the bottom of your cast iron skillet or the whatever pan you're using. It's okay. Just find a flat edge, move stuff around, and then you can lay the pork chops right on top. But that right there is what we're looking for. And then you want to maintain, you know, and stay on top of those apples. You do not want them to be mushy. So I kind of like moved them around and then checked them. You know just to make sure that they were just you know getting steamed i like them soft but not mushy and then i like to sprinkle a little bit more of that uh, sweet smoky joe's that beef and pork rub do you hey do yourselves a favor you guys if you can try it that's sweet smoky joe's.com hey you're gonna see it a lot in some in our in our videos and there you go right here apples onions on top of pork chop